everyone. Welcome back. You know, I got to tell you, during the breaks, it's the best time because you get to talk to these people and really find out what makes them tick. And I, I always say this whole tick. When I go up to every one of the speakers, I ask the exact same question. What makes you cool, all right? And I love it when someone just jumps out at me. It's like they can't wait to answer that, you know? So our next speaker, without a doubt, personifies the whole aspect of cool. I mean, what makes you cool? And she goes, I like lasers. I like lasers. I mean, that's like the first best line of a date, isn't it? So I like lasers, and she, her job is basically she gets to play and have her friends hang out with her while she's playing. It reminds me of the movie Big, you know, when he was a little kid. It's the same aspect. Patty, she might go by Patricia inside here, but Patty is really going to take us to a whole new level of what's going on with virtual reality, AR, lasers, and uh, a fun of your burner. So um, let's welcome a fellow uh, Burning Man laser free. Come on up. Uh, so I know we got less than five minutes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so the first time I saw Musion, it was with Madonna and the Gorillas, and I was blown away. And uh, at that time, I was working in fully immersive virtual reality, the cave, you know, and everybody's heard about the Star Cave, you know, Circa, Cal IT2, they're all involved with that, top immersive systems in the world. Um, then I started working with really high-end, large-scale events, so Shanghai World Expo, Vancouver Olympic Games, talking virtual configurators with ESPN, and I really thought I had seen everything, I mean, down to, like, virtual reality contact lenses and prototypes. And it takes a lot now to, you know, get me really engaged in this because I've been fortunate enough to work with these amazing people and these amazing teams. So when the first time I saw the Musion Holographic stage, I was blown away because this was everything that everybody had asked for. How could we make this at a very large scale? And the thing that got me about it was the sense of presence. Obviously, you have a platform that is able to incorporate different information spaces in a seamless way. But beyond that, increasing the sense of presence really is approximating virtual reality without the glasses. So when you have your uh, peripheral and your foveal vision working together, and, and that that's what the Musion Holographic stage does, it engages your full visual perception, you're able to create a sense of transformation. So I'm getting a little excited because in pushing the limits of the system, which is really what I was hired to do, I'm thinking about the old experiential way of things. It, it, all the production companies are, we want to be experiential. Everybody wants to be experiential, but it seems that that was the way of the past. Now it's really about transforming the space and engaging the audiences and knowing where they're coming psychologically, the cognitive science behind that. So what we have is um, the integration of mixed reality and virtual worlds onto the holographic stage. Yes, I am a burner. And this is a concept that started being out at Burning Man. I'm hanging out in first camp, talking to the media mecca and a couple of the CEOs that go out there and mingle. And we're like, well, wouldn't it be cool if we had Eric from Google up on the stage as a holographic presenter? And then we got real life presenters. And on top of that, we have the virtual world coming in. And so that led us to do this kind of R&D. I come back and I'm talking to Richard and I'm like, let's just put it on, in the back screen. Because not only do you have the front foil, now you have the depth. So we started playing with that concept, live action to avatar, and that led me to the future of integration. This is why I'm here, to integrate and to invite all of you to play with us. Because here we have uh, the what if, the imagine if we could run an NVIDIA Tesla engine on the back end of the Musion holographic stage. This is a supercomputer, and this is me geeking out and thinking, OK, then what would I do next? And I can run all of these programs, and then maybe I could actually do some biomorphic feedback. Because ideally, what I'd like to do is do some Jedi mind, you know, the brain-computer interface, and I think about it, and the whole thing turns on, and voila, you know, then there goes my presentation. So um, I thought about the idea of incorporating eye tracking so that we can start monitor monitoring the, um, the feelings and the emotions of the people and how they're actually interacting with the demo in the Musion stage. So having that kind of supercomputer uh, running on the back end allows us to run all of these multiple applications seamlessly and to create the biomorphic feedback needed. So that if we go to a client and we say, why are you spending a million dollars? Let's just say, you know, world, World's Fair. Um, it's because that we can actually provide you with results of, um, sorry, one minute, of, uh, okay, so we're gonna give you this hardware. This is your interface. These are your emotional profiles. And so in that sense, we are really reaching the holy grail of computing, is to be able to interface human design with computer design. And um, here we have somebody that just came to visit us and you know, wanted to play. And so you have Iron Man and 
Um, obviously, you know, our friend James, and they're doing some testing on the stage. I've invited Franklin London, two-time Academy Award-winning animator, to come play. And that's the way we treated. It's like when you go when you're a kid and you used to knock on your neighbor's doors and say, hey, can my friend come out and play? Let's drop all business aside. I invite all of you to come hang out. If it's a weekend, if it's after hours, I want you to come and test your systems, test your you know, animations, and let's see what we can create together. Thank you. Uh, no, I have them in San Diego. Come oh, visit me. Okay, we have to go down there and play and check out the lasers. Very good. I got a clicker. Oh. Excellent.